All right, folks, this is Jason with Primal Outdoors channel. Today, I'm just gonna do a really quick video on changing out your rear windows on your Ford Econoline. This is a Ford E350. Uh, it's the Ford Econoline. They basically made these vans from 92 through 2015, or they made them before that, but this generation of body style was pretty much the same from 92 to 2015 when they quit making the full vans. They still make cutaways, but they don't make the full vans. Um, what I am doing is I am changing out the stock window that does not open to a pop-out window that does open so I can get airflow in here. And the reason why I'm doing that is um, I sleep in the van and my head is at the back of the van. I have a max air fan inside that I can use to exhaust air out of the, out of the van. So what I want is to be able to, at night, be able to pop this window open, turn my max air fan on and be able to suck fresh air in through the rear window, past my head and everything so it's uh, more pleasant for sleeping. This uh, particular, these particular doors, you know, came stock with the, with the non-opening windows. Certain van uh, years, they did have the pop-out windows as an option. So I just went on to eBay and I found a seller on eBay that was selling the window and the seals and all the hardware that I needed. And as long as you have the stock cutout, it's a pretty simple procedure. So. I thought what I'd do is just kind of walk you guys through it. If this is something that you um, are considering to do to your Ford Econoline. At first I was a little bit intimidated by it, but after I did this window, which I just got done with, it's a pretty easy procedure. So I'm gonna just bring you along to do this window. All right, so here on my workbench, I have all the tools that I'm gonna need. Um, first, the ones that you're definitely gonna need, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket or a wrench. You're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver. I recommend a razor blade to help get the old window residue off from the seal. And then of course, some kind of paint thinner or alcohol to clean it up. Uh, a couple optional tools that I'm gonna be using is a heat gun. This will help me heat the old window up and kind of heat the seal up to make it a little bit easier to get off. And then I'm also going to use a little orbital sander so once I get the other window off, I'm gonna just kind of clean up with the razor blade. I'm gonna use the orbital sander to uh, lightly scuff around the edge and get any other residue off and then finish up with some cleaning here uh, with the paint thinner. All right, so first we're gonna remove the old window. So we're gonna start by just taking these nuts off. Again, this is where the 10 millimeter comes in. I've got mine hooked to an impact here, so. All right, folks, so this is where the heat gun's gonna come in. I'm just gonna heat up around this outer seal and get it to just kind of soften up a little bit, hopefully making, getting the window to pop out a little easier. All right, so now we're just gonna start lightly prying on the outsides of this uh, old window to get it out. I am actually using a tool I forgot to mention in the beginning. This is just kind of like a trim tool. Uh, anything, flathead screwdriver, anything would work, but um, I like this because it's plastic and I shouldn't hopefully mar the old window. All right, so now you can see that we got a bunch of residue that is left over. We're just gonna use a razor blade and get that all cleaned off, get all the big chunks off as much as we can. All right, so this is where the herbal sander comes in. This is like I said, you don't really have to have this. I could keep just uh, going at it with the paint thinner, but I find that uh, using this just kind of speeds up the process a little bit. All 
All right, so now that we've got the old window out and everything cleaned up, we're in their next step is going to be to prepare the new window. Again, I got this window from an eBay seller. I'll put his uh, information down in the description if you guys want to see if he has any more. But he sent me everything I needed to be able to install the window. The window, of course, uh, new seal, and all the hardware. So first thing we're going to do is we're just going to take off the new nuts that came with the window. Get them all off. And then we'll um, go ahead and get the seal put on. All right, so we're gonna start putting this new seal on. It has a sticky back on it, so you just put, peel back the uh, protective paper and then you can start sticking it on. We wanna start it right here at the bottom because it'll go all the way around and then there will be a seam. We want that seam to be at the bottom of the window. One thing I'd like to note is I don't have any affiliation with this particular eBay seller. I just like that he had all the parts ready to go and easy to install. You definitely could try to source these parts to your local scrapyard. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this window put in. Uh, there are more little bolts on these windows than there are on the non-opening windows, but they're already holes pre-drilled into the door, so you don't have to do anything more. It's already ready to go. So just line everything up, line the bolts up, and shove it on in. All right, so then I'll just go ahead and get all the nuts uh, started. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and install the provided hardware. Your door should have already the little cutouts uh, for the mount for the buckle. So you just have to be able to reach in through the door here to be able to put uh, this piece in. So I'm gonna show you that now. All right, so we're gonna put this little metal backing plate in. It's got a couple little tabs here that will come over. Uh, through these two holes here and then buckle up and over it. So you want this metal tab here to be facing towards the back of the door. You reach up, you shove it through, and then you can use that tab to pull it towards you with your fingers. It's a little bit harder on my door because I have Linex on it, and so that adds a little thickness, but it should line up, and then you should see the three screw holes coming through these three holes here. Now take your buckle and thread it onto the nut in the window. Get it to line up. Then you'll have a little backing piece here. You just put that in underneath. Put your top piece on, get everything to line up there. <clears throat> now I'm gonna just use the back of my screwdriver to kinda move it over a little bit, get everything to line up. Make sure that the buckle actually can work. Then go ahead and start putting in your other screws. All right guys, so I've got the window in, I've got the buckle in, but I've noticed looking at the window that it's not fitting square necessarily inside the door. And uh, the instructions that came with the window said that what I would need to do and I'm going to do now is loosen up these top bolts here and just work on squaring the window. So I'm gonna do that really quick. All right, so one thing I noticed uh, as I went to go check these out uh, or loosen these is that they're square drive so 
Uh, you'll have to add that to your tool list. But I'm just going to loosen them up just a little bit here. All right, folks, well, that's it. It looks like everything is working. I uh, was able to get everything lined up. It looks pretty good all the way around. We got uh, good even space. All in all, this uh, install was fairly easy. Took a little bit of time to, uh, and patience to get the old window out and the, and the old seal removed and cleaned from the outside, but everything else went uh, pretty quick and easy. And the one nice thing I will say about the eBay seller that I bought these from, he did pride of some instructions um, on the windows as far as letting me know that I may need to adjust these and also um, kind of tell me how the seal went on. But uh, it, like I said, it was a fairly easy install. I'm glad to have these in the van now. I've wanted them ever since I bought this 4D350. Uh, this will be great for when I am sleeping inside. I can have these windows popped open, be able to use my max air fan and get some extra air through the van. One thing I don't recommend is uh, leaving them open while you're driving uh, because you get backwash from the van. It will suck dust and dirt and other things up into the van. I've even heard about it sucking the exhaust into the van. So when you're traveling, I do recommend uh, closing them and locking them off, but I do believe this is a must-have in a Ford Econoline if you're going to be living in it the way I do because you just get a lot of stagnant air in the back and this will just really help uh, draw good fresh air through the whole van. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video useful. If uh, you're looking to get this done on your Ford Econoline and you found the video helpful, please do give it a like. If you have any comments or questions, please leave those down below and I'll catch you guys again outside.